Welcome back to my channel. I am on my way to my laser appointment. I don't know how I'm awake right now. I literally just got off work at five and I'm tired. I need some light. We might as well just turn that on. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to my laser appointment. They take forever to get to me. Um, my last appointment was, I think in like August, the end of August and we're, it's October 13th right now. And they just take forever. So they have like an automatic payment, short story. They have like an automatic payment thing that goes out and every month is 111. I haven't been there for, it's been, it's about to go on my third month. I haven't had three treatments yet, so I kind of jipped them. It's like I took my card off the filing thing, so they got a cancellation tomorrow, and the payment goes out on the 15th, but tomorrow's the 14th, so they won't know that I didn't pay because I'm going tomorrow, today, if you get it, you know what I mean? I'm like, hold on, y'all done had me three times, so y'all not getting three of my payments. We gonna wait a second, so I know. But if, it, if they had it on the 15th, then of course I would pay, but they don't. So I'll pay next month. You'll see me next month, you know. But I pay, of course, before I have to get my um, other treatment because then, you know, they probably won't call me because they're like, you didn't pay. And I'm just over here like, well, you didn't give me my third treatment. I'm like, hold on. But more of the story, I'm heading there today. And yeah, I just got off work at five something. So and it was a struggle to go to sleep because I took an energy drink at like 12 something which I shouldn't have and I didn't even drink at all it was a rain I drank like eight sips but the eight sips kept me up till like eight o'clock and me and my boyfriend both we both took the energy drink because he wanted to work out where I work and I was just and I took one to stay up and be energized to do what I don't know what I was being energized for and yeah so we're going yeah so it's officially 11:52. i'm heading to go get gas right now because this tank is on six miles right now i haven't drove my car in forever this person just going all over the place with their hands look See them. They just waving around. Just waving. <laughs> I need to stop being nosy. Um, wow, this lighting is terrible. I'm not getting any good sunlight. And it's like, I don't know if that's leaving like a, a thing. Mm, I guess I'm not really gonna know until I edit the video. <laughs> Okay, these lights need to turn so I can go get gas. Hurry up. What number is this? This is number. What time is it? Uh, I don't know. You're not supposed to do this. Don't ever turn on your car when you're doing gas. Well, I mean, I do it all the time, but you're not supposed to. So let's see what $15 gives us because I'm not filling up my tank all the way because I want to drive all the way and I don't need to drive all the way.
I am done with that. I didn't get to record. As you guys know, I was being scared. I don't know why. It's like when I got in there and I was already sitting down, I was like, do I want to ask them if I can record? <clears throat> Not really. So I just left it alone. And this time they turned up the voltage on the levels of lasering and it was zapping a little harder harsher this time so it's like a burn it's it's like a zap burn feeling but with like a cool sensation afterwards because they put an ice pack they zap ice zap ice but it was feeling a little owie today so um yeah but overall i get my I know people are going to have a whole bunch of questions and I want to do a video on that separately, but just to let you guys know that I am doing my, I'm doing the package, which is my underarms, both my underarms, my bikini area, like the whole thing, my whole everything, and then my derriere, my bootay. So that's all I'm going to fill you in, guys in right now because I am going to let you guys know more in a separate video i want to do a whole video on that because i know people have been asking um what's your update how's waxing going and little do they know little do all of you guys know i'm not getting waxed anymore i'm getting lasering so i definitely want to tell my loves how that's going and yeah so i'm heading home right now i actually got work later tonight at four it's one o'clock right now so i'm gonna try to go home and get some rest if i can but i haven't been able to sleep because i took that day in the rain that energy drink which is not good for you at all but i wanted something other than water and i shouldn't have took it but yeah i need to stop saying but yeah because whenever i go over a video and i hear but yeah or um or so or uh i'm just girl you know how to speak Come on now. See, I was about to do it again. It's like I stop and then all I have to say is, uh, you get it? Y'all get it. Y'all, y'all understand. Um, but yeah, and I'm hungry. Like when I went inside, I felt my stomach grow growling. And yeah, but this one I asked her, I was like, is this lasering? Is it ah! is it um is it a higher level like of the pain like not the pain but the zapping part and she was like yeah it goes up every single time you come and I was... but she was also saying that after your third or fourth treatment you're going to start seeing a really really big difference so um they actually said that you can't wax or anything like that because it defeats the purpose like you're going there and if you just get waxed and stuff you're taking the hair follicle out of the hair and it's like you're kind of just 
ruining it because that's the part that's the hair follicle that they're supposed to be getting so that's another hair follicle that you didn't get so now you gotta make more treatments to come back and it's just a whole lot of it's a whole lot a lot of and yeah so that was that and i'm not gonna lie it doesn't hurt it's just i can't really say that i'm gonna speak up i need to stop talking about it because i said i was gonna talk about it in another video so pause on the plate what's something else to talk about um the video i just posted um uh, a couple days ago about my update in life that was not everything i wanted to talk about um i had a lot more questions and i just didn't have the chance to get my notepad or anything and yeah so i was literally going over and i'm like there's so much that i didn't discuss with you guys and other things was um are you dumb you're dumb come on now you really just wanted to wreck your bends like you have a nice car you driving reckless like that i don't understand if i had a nice car i'm not i lied if i had a mustang or a, like a or like a camaro or a bentley i would probably drive fast too but i want to be cutting through traffic like i'm invincible no you don't do that um See? Um, well, you know what? That's just me. Y'all, you get what you come for. I'm gonna have to answer some other questions in life, but then it's just my life has just been different. Like, it's so... Whoa! I don't like being on the left side. Come on, North Carolina. Every... It's like, oh, these people. <laughs> some people drive too dang slow. Southerners always drive slow. But it's like, when you're on the left-hand side and it's a... It's a two lane two lane like two on the right two on the left then people on the other side on the left lane drive crazy they just be i'm just like hold on i'm on the side you not see me i swear they don't but yeah my life has just been different it's like ever since i came up here it's just different i have no family up here i, I mean i have cousins and i haven't seen them yet um but it's like i'm all alone it's like it's just me and my boyfriend and a roommate and yeah it's just like wow like I'm really out here by myself so and it's like I love to see the trees change and I'm actually going to see snow for my first time this year we're going snowboarding and I'm so excited I am so excited I don't even know like what to expect my boyfriend's like I can't wait for you to fall I'm like you guys i wanted to let you i wanted to fill you guys in on something um whether you're in a new state a same state same place where you live new place where you live new surrounding old surrounding comfortable surrounding especially comfortable surrounding i have yeah. ever since 
excuse me. Ever since I've... It ain't mine. Bruh. So ever since I've been here for the past two, two, two or three months, whatever, there has been two kidnapping cases very, very close to me. Um, I think it was a 16 year old or something like that or nine, whatever the case may be. I don't care where I am. I don't care where you guys are. If you guys feel like you're in the most comfortable surrounding where you feel like nothing's gonna happen to you and you feel invincible or you trust that person or whatever. I want you guys just to be careful and be aware of your surroundings like constantly. Since I work at nighttime and when I leave, it's still dark. I make sure every single time I get in the car, I lock the doors. I be quick with it. I be lock the doors, Um, check your back seats. I'm sorry, every single time I get in the car, I check the back seats, make sure, no, you never know. And yes, God's watching over and protecting all of us, but still, that doesn't mean be blind to what the world really has out there. You know what I mean? So constantly look around you, constantly have a weapon on you. I don't care if it's a knife, um, a taser, a spray, that a little beat thing where it's like it goes off whenever somebody comes by you or whatever that um, signifies, sign signals the cops or whatever. I don't care. I just want you guys to be safe. And more importantly, you guys should want yourself to be safe. Cause nowadays, I don't know what the world's turning into, bro. I'm gone. And I don't even want this right now. I'm not hungry for it. I'm kind of getting over the taste. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need some water. It's like once you eat something all the time or like constantly, it's like you get tired of it. Um, just like having a boyfriend, you get tired of him. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so it's just like make sure you are watching over yourself and praying over yourself and just being cautious of everything. I moved to the state and I already knew like. The fact that I was comfortable back home where I was and I knew all the blocks and everything. I don't know all the blocks here. I don't know every person that's here. Um, I don't know. I just know like when I'm at work, I work from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And sometimes when I walk outside and I forget something in the car, there's cars parked out there and there, people are just sitting in them. Like there's a lot of um, people that live in their cars and they're nice cars but people still live in them or they'll stay and they'll park and they'll eat or whatever it's like people learn your routine that's why sometimes i'll change my routine of work like i'll pop up at a different time or i'll pop up in my boyfriend's car or i'll have him drop me off it's like sometimes you just gotta kidnapping has always been a top thing to me it's like whenever i hear about it it's like it's like what is i just i just think like you know how fbi agents have kids some of them have kids most of them have kids. And if their child went missing, they would do everything in their power and that agency would do everything in their power to go find them. And it's like, I see so many people. We all see so many people go missing and they never get found. And I'm just like, now what if that was your kid? I'm sorry, but that just hits home for me. It's like, I wanted to do that for such a long time, like go investigate or whatever, but I just didn't want to go to school for it. It's like, I wanted to be self-employed with that, if that makes sense like get a whole bunch of wiring stuff and have a whole bunch of soundtracks and just watch here and just like, you know, and just wait in your car and you, you can like x-ray or whatever. You know how people do like that home stuff and they go and they go on a search and they find people. I don't know, that's always seemed interesting to me. And it's like, I don't know. But it's like, whenever I see somebody get kidnapped, I'm like, what in the, like you don't have a right mind. So I can't say what in the right mind. It's like, what is wrong with your brain? Like, I don't understand what you just think. Like people, you can just pick up somebody else's kid that they gave birth to or didn't and kidnap them without like no remorse, no guilt. And then some of them raise them as, on their own. It's like, 
and you're raising somebody else's kid and you're lying to them their whole life. And now what if they figure out later in life, they're gonna hate you. Not hate, but you know, they're like, well, why didn't you, like, you know, it's just like, gosh. There was a movie of that on Netflix and the mom kidnapped the child. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I don't remember the name. Maybe I'll put the name right here. But it's just it's so crazy to me. Like I'm really thinking it's like you can pass so many dang houses and there could be a kidnapped child in there, a kidnapped person in there. It's just like, and you just don't know. It's like it could be the most richest house, the most brought up house. And there could be like 10 kids in there kidnapped and you just don't know. Like that don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, just be safe. Think of the unknown. You never know. And you don't ever want that to happen to you. So, or anybody you know, or anybody at all. Like, so I'm just saying, be careful of your surroundings. I know that probably hit a lot of you guys because I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. It's like, it really gets me teared up when I see something like that. Like an infant um, kidnapped or like a, a 16 year old kidnapped. It's just like, what? You did what? Gosh, I hope those people get you know, if you get kidnapped, I mean, if you kidnap somebody or you do something to a child and you go to prison, you know what they do to you? I don't even want to envision it. It's like, that's brutal. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop it. I'm not even being funny. That's just crazy. This needs to stop. And it's like, there's so much evil in this world. But let me not rant. I'm already ranting. But yeah, just stay safe. If you ever feel like you're in danger or you ever feel like somebody's watching you, don't feel bad. If you work overnights or whatever and you wanna call the cops to come sit out there with you, they will. They'll sit there but plotted right there cause that's their job and they'll watch over you if you don't feel safe enough. Cause I was about to do that when I worked an overnight shift, but I just, I just called my boyfriend. I just clocked out. I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving. And now I told my boss, I'm like, I, Monday through Thursday, it's supposed to be Monday through Friday, but Fridays, was actually a day where the gym closes at 10. So I would be there from 11 to five by myself. I told her, um, I it's been almost two months and yeah, I was just like, I'm not working this anymore. I told her, I was like, I just can't, I don't feel safe. Um, if you guys know, back in my, uh, at the old gym, I got assaulted one time at nighttime. It was just like, I'm not doing that again, all by myself. And it's like, my boyfriend said he doesn't mind sitting outside and waiting for me for my shift to be over, but I'm like, no, I don't want you doing that, but I just told him, like, I don't feel comfortable. And that's just truly how it is if, you know, and I could have called the cops and had them sit one in the front, one in the back, but it's just like, I just don't feel safe, I, you know? So if you don't feel safe in your surrounding or wherever you're at, pray and ask God to what to do because God told me just to take off that Friday or get another shift to take on a Friday. So I'll still have the same hours, but yeah, just be safe and cautious of where you are, whether you know the area, like I said, whether you don't know the area and always research. If you're going on vacation, research that area, especially us teenagers and us young adults like to go places alone to go get a peace of mind. Please review and research the area that you're in because you, you, you don't ever know what is around you until you really you know really get there and it's just like whoa you know you don't mm -mm. but that's all i'm gonna say for this chat um hopefully i do a video for my thing i'm just gonna go probably go edit before work or just go in earlier if anything but i'm gonna try to go take a nap if I, the nap don't work then we just gonna edit or go in earlier so i will talk to you guys later i love you to the next next scene you know I need some water. Ooh, them feet were dirty. Hey, my loves. This is the end of the video. I didn't think... Well, I didn't even end it. I thought I did, but I didn't. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be going into my workout for the day. If you want to keep on watching, then keep on watching. But if not, then have a blessed, wonderful day. And always be yourself. I love you guys. Goodbye. See you in the next video.